to present to you guys my new plant. My mom made me buy it actually. My mom is a plant person. She has a bunch of plants in her home, but she made me buy this one. So we just got back from Ulta and I'm gonna show you guys really fast what I got. So I got a lip gloss from NYX. I'm actually wearing it. It's really nice. I got a lip liner and a white eyeliner. Right, we just came back from grocery shopping. I got some strawberries, some spinach, yogurt, toast and peanut butter crackers, and two mango chunks, um, baggies, crab, imitation crab, a mango, a avocado, um, a mango smoothie, I guess, some queso cotija, blueberries, corn, grapes, um, ground beef, peanut butter. I also got this, I'm going to try this vanilla latte. And I got a Gatorade, lettuce, and some Cheez-Its for the week. Today it is Thursday. Um, I received a package. I'm so excited. Once again, collaborating with Unplugged Book Box. I'm so excited because this is the second time that um, we collaborate together, and I'm so excited. 
Did I say that already? They always send such good items in their boxes, in their monthly boxes. So I received the April book box and let's check it out. Is it this side? Whoa. Oh my gosh. So you open it from the front. Front and says, be bold, be you. Um, let's check it out. Oh my god. Okay, so the first thing that's in front here is this. Oh my god. Is it looks it looks like a pillow. <gasps> I can't see. Do I need my glasses? Oh what this is. I guess this is the- Oh, it's a book sleeve! Oh my gosh! I thought it was a pillow. This is so cute. It says, that's the thing about books. They let you travel without moving your feet. And then it has like a map in the back. It's Tamora Pierce's tale breaks the glass ceiling with her strong characters. This story highlights that you can be yourself and succeed in ways you may have never imagined. This exclusive book sleeve is by Team Unplugged with a map from the Total Universe. So I don't know from what book that is, Total Universe, but I'll definitely check it out. Let's see. But there are these kind, this books here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I love book sleeves. I've never had one, by the way. Okay, so the next thing that's up here, it's a a tea set, a Jane Austen teacup and saucer collectible. It's so darn pretty. So once you open it up, ooh, cute teacup. Ooh, this is so nice. Okay, this is the teacup. And then the saucer is in here. Wow, this is so cute. It says, when I have a house of my own, I will... I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. Oh, that's so cute. And then you take some tea. All right, and the next thing that they put in the box. <gasps> is this a bell? This is the candle snuffer, I believe that's what you call it. And then I guess you just like turn it off like this. So this is the candle, um, the unbroken candle. This is um, by C.L. Clark. It tells the tale of Rain and Luca who are paying the ultimate prize for life during war and rebellion. The pair must embrace power within to achieve what they must in order to survive. This exclusive candle is by Natural Pure Honest. And it smells so good. The scent is so, so refreshing. It just calls spring. And this is like a vanilla. Is it vanilla? It's violet. Wow, this smells so good. It smells really good. You don't find a life, you have to make one. You don't make a life. You don't find a life, you have to make one. With the people around you and the causes you put your strength into. Here. Ooh, okay. I also got this library between life and death room spray. And this is the Midnight Library. Ooh, this box really reminds me of like oh. Ooh. Ooh, I cannot this gorgeous ass cover so so cool oh my gosh yes I cannot wait to read this book. It sounds very good. Enter a world of bone and shadow magic. Ah, I love it already. A vengeful gods and defiant chosen ones in the city of dusk. The first book in the dark gods trilogy from a stunning new voice in epic, epic fantasy. The four realms, life, death, light, and darkness all converge on the city of dusk. But the gods have withdrawn their favor from once thriving and vibrant metropolis. And without it, all the realms are dying. Unwilling to stand by and watch the destruction, the four heirs to divine power, Angelica, an elementalist with her eyes set on the throne, Risha, a necromancer fighting to keep the peace, Nicholas, a soldier who struggles to see the light, and Tasia? 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 
A shadow wielding rogue with a reckless heart will become reluctant ally allies in the quest to save their city. Sorry. But their rebellion will cost them dearly. Hmm. It sounds so darn interesting. And I just love the cover. It's so nice. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love Unplugged Book Box. You guys should definitely check out their boxes. They they send out monthly boxes. And each month they have like a different topic and a different book. Which is really cool. I love all the goodies they send. They sometimes partner with some of the sellers from Etsy and they support like businesses. But Unplugged Book Box sent me. Thank you so much for reaching out again. I have been reading Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi and I have not finished it because I just haven't been in the mood to read but hopefully tomorrow's Friday. Um, hopefully I can catch up with my readings. I'm 63% in. I'm on page 246. It has like very 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 like dislikable characters but that's the point of the story it's about two sisters they, growing up they didn't really have that really good relationship with each other so they stopped talking for a year until until june comes back in jane's life after revealing to her that she has cancer it's a pretty freaking like really sad depressing topic but once you read the story once you read a little bit more of the story you really like figure out who these girls are and what they've been through. They are Korean, so it does have a lot of like Korean culture. And
friends so right now it is 6 48 p.m and i am reading yolk such such a long week that i haven't even had the chance to read anything but right now i just made myself some iced coffee and i'm gonna read outside because the weather feels really good outside it's very fresh and relaxing